hello, what is going on party people? My name is Twinkle Toes and welcome back to the Twinkle Order. Today, I bring you the first episode of something really special I've been looking forward to. That is Dark Souls 3. So, without further ado, we're gonna get started with this. Alright guys, so we uh, have made our character here that we're gonna be using for a while. Uh, named him the Fallen. Just wanted to give him a really cool style. Looks like a Fallen Spirit, because that's what you, I think, are in Dark Souls, basically. You're like a resurrected soul of some kind. So, we're just going with the basic knight, so we're going to just, just hop right into this. Alright, so we have arrived, and uh, I made a promise to myself after playing this for a while that I was going to do a challenge for myself, and that is no shield. We're going no shield this whole game. So, this will be interesting. We're going to see how this goes. Um, hopefully we can get a bigger sword than this, because if we're going no shield, I want to be not wielding such a dinky weapon. Okay, come here, sunshine. Right, good start. Forgive me, guys, if I'm a bit more serious during this, uh, during the Dark Souls videos, because, um, I don't know why, I just kind of like to immerse myself as, like, I am the character, and I made more of a serious kind of guy, so, sort of an immersion style thing, I would guess. Alright. Here we go. Rest now, fellow. And I forgot, if you were two-handed, you can go into uh, your one stance. If you do want to take a quick, guys, um, backstabbing is very, very reliable in Dark Souls. Um, does a lot of damage and it's actually fairly easy depending on what enemies you end up fighting. Like these base guys are really easy when it comes to backstabs. Okay, there you are. As you can see, it's stagger for a little bit. Just, well, I could have gotten it if he wasn't angled, but you see what I mean. Okay, I know it's that way. It's a giant frost thingy or electric thing, and we're not going to be strong enough to fight that yet, so... I have an arrow in me. But yeah, guys, tell me what your uh, opinion on Dark Souls is. I absolutely love the game, especially since you can do stuff like this. Wiggy, 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 wiggy. Alright, anyway, back in character. Uh, it's, uh, it's, just, it's a very nice game. I do enjoy playing it quite a bit. And it's a challenge, too. Well, for people like me, there are pros in this game. Okay, so I have never done this without a shield before. I have played through this game once a while back, so we're going to see how this goes. This is the first boss. If you just pull this out. Let's get some cheap hits off of him. Oh jeez, I'm out of stamina. Oh jeez. I gotta remember with the dodge timings on this. seem intimidating guys, but this guy's actually fairly easy at first. Oh, okay. As I was saying. 
He's not that bad. All right. Good first stuff. And that is the first boss, guys. It may seem harder at first than it is, but it's actually... He's a bit of a pushover. Alright. And the Fallen's journey has begun. We proved ourselves against our first boss. Now, we venture further into the lens. Broken straight sword, we have no need of this. Alright. Now, if you're wondering, the stance I'm in currently, I can break his guard by using this as long as he doesn't attack me first like that. So, it's very good. If you can time it right to where... I don't think you can dodge out of it. Oh, yes, you can. All right. Yeah, that is a helpful tip. It's a minor magic ability, but it's a... Uh, it is very good if you can time things right. Also, if you want, you can have fun with ragdoll physics. Watch them disappear into the gloom. Alright. Continue on. That is where we're heading to next, gentlemen and ladies. Yes, our fellow looking out of the lens. I release you. All right. Even though we are a fallen warrior, we show mercy to those, especially those who are purely in torment. Loop around here seems there's anything to discover. And that was very anticlimactic on that dog. Dogs are not very smart in this, gentlemen. Found an ember, very useful. And we are here, my friends. The cathedral awaits us. There is an enemy over here who bears a katana, but he is far too strong for us at the moment. So we shall not engage him for now. This is the Firelink Shrine, our home. From now on, brothers and sisters, we have made it. So in order to pursue our dream of becoming a great sword wielder, Ashen we require strength, which we can require from this lady Africa. here, from upgrading. Very well. then touch the take nourishment. So we will need to increase our strength, say by two points, and increase our endurance, because we're going to need much endurance in order, endurance, in order to wield a great sword, which we will achieve here very soon. So, now that we have that, we shall have a look around the sanctuary and continue to the next area. So we have arrived on the high walls of Lothric. Not much to explore in the shrine, so we continue our travels to hunt down the Lords of Cinder. This is our first stop on the high walls of Lothrak. The first bonfire is present here. We will continue our journey from this bonfire. As you can see, there are many tortured souls. Let's put them to rest. Like I said before, backstabs are one of the most reliable things you can do against foes like this. They hit and they are staggered, go behind them, and impale them through the back. Now we have one choice, and that is to go down. Things await us in places like this. We will overcome. 
incumbent. Is Larry from Middle Earth? He has followed us. Our relationship didn't end so well, as you can see. I'm sorry, Larry. You've never forgiven me for what I did by abandoning you like this. As you can see, he still is not in a good mood. No matter how many times I beg for his forgiveness, he never, ever does it. And I am an idiot enough to walk into the fire. We must get past the fire to get that door open. Fire. All right. It's a very treacherous area here. For any new people, do not be fooled by this chest here. This chest is something called a mimic. It's a very powerful foe that can end you really quickly. So. Be cautious. Go, run! Oh no! We failed, brothers. Still takes no prisoners. Such a shame. Larry, you are a foul creature. So right now, Larry is being more stubborn than anyone I've ever known. We cannot get our greatsword, but, um, we have a slight problem. Death, my friends. Found another bonfire. There must be a way to get rid of that dragon. Righty, my friends. My journey ends here for today. Soon we will find a way to slay that dragon so we can get our sword from her. Farewell, my friends. It has been an honor so far, but our journey still continues. <laughs>